or if it will be Tesla itself. I doubt that. I doubt that because China wants a local winner. Uh, Welcome back, friends, for one more update from the world of EV stocks. In case you're new to this channel, please do consider subscribing. And if you live in the United States, you can get two free shares worth up to $1,850 just by following the link in the description. Now enjoy the rest of the video. Kathy Wood was asked just this last week what she thought about the major winners from various sectors in China. While talking about EV companies, she explicitly said that she doubts Tesla will eventually be the champion in the Chinese market. She mentioned it might be NIO or Xpeng, but she had strong doubts it would be Tesla, since the Chinese government wants a local company to win in the sector. Let's now look at the clip. Uh, if you look at energy storage, well, of course, you've got Tesla in uh, in China, so that's that's good. You've got um, you've got an ecosystem uh, building around uh, China. We know that Neo, uh, we don't own it, but uh, we think that government decree they want a, a local champion. We don't know if it's going to be Neo or Xpeng, which is patterning itself after Tesla, or if it will be Tesla itself. I doubt that. I doubt that because China wants a local winner. Uh, but we, we think uh, they're all over uh, that market. Artificial intelligence, if you look at the league tables uh, in artif uh, chip technology, a uh, surprising number of Chinese companies, uh, SenseTime and others. Uh, and I think the reason for this is China's um, uh, need uh, for sur surveillance. The government wants uh, surveillance over yes. over its population even more so. We totally agree with Kathy Wood on her analysis that NEO might well be the eventual champion in the Chinese market, even ahead of Tesla. This is not to hate on Tesla in any way. Tesla is the pioneer of the whole EV industry, and will always have a strong presence in all major markets including China. However, in the recent quarters, we have been noticing how rapidly NEO has been growing. NEO is also seemingly creating newer business partnerships in China much faster than anybody else. First, to target the mass market of vehicles, NEO announced a strategic tie-up to create a new brand. Then this past week, NEO also officially closed their deal with Sinopec, which is the biggest oil company in China, to rapidly grow their battery swapping infrastructure across China. This all just further strengthens our conviction too, that there is serious political and strategic backing that NEO is receiving on its home turf and it will simply be an unstoppable giant for the years ahead. Thank you for watching this quick but important update. We're looking forward to Monday to see how NEO starts the new trading week.